when I talk about this woman from the NSA, who am I talking about? Um, she's a station chief for the NSA, but um, I don't even know who she is. All I know is that a bunch of people showed up to my office at one point and they were all station chiefs except for the chief technical officer and this Navy guy. And that's the only reason I know that there are station chiefs of the NSA. And it's kind of funny that I want to send her um, my mail out. I want to send all the station chiefs mail outs and I can't find out who they are. Um, so I don't actually know if anyone on the internet has heard about me. So when I'm talking about like the government's doing psyops, they're they've got they're 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 a bunch of troll people on the internet being trolls. Um, I sound kind of silly, right? Because I have six views on 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 most of my music videos, and all my videos are like like my videos I posted yesterday, one view, um, maybe four views the second time I looked at it. Um, I don't have any views. So how in the world, um, why in the world should I trust my people when they say that the government was running a troll farm against me during during my presidential campaign? And I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that they're either they were either running a troll farm to to discredit me, or they were running a troll for, farm while censoring me, or uh, they were just censoring. That that's those are the three options. Um, and the the most likely situation is they were just censoring me because the last thing because I can't imagine that no one would. No one would care about me running for president when I'm talking about the people that I talk about. <laughs> I mean, I'm like a I'm like a national security person. Like, I mean, I I, I mean, it's it it'd be crazy for not it'd be crazy for um for me not to think that I'm being censored with the things that I say and with how many people I contacted. Like, all I do all day is contact people on the internet, or that's what I used to do. Now I'm trying to contact people in in real life with physical mail and it's like do these people already know who I am like when I when I'm contacting the FBI all the not station chiefs they're called the special agent in charge I think that's what they're probably called um um when I'm contacting all these people they already know who I am so this letter's pointless I mean that that's that's what I'm trying to figure out but um I don't know um all I know is that, I mean, I can handle pretty brutal things that are said about me. And I wanted to save the United States, even though I've known the American people are pieces of shit for a long time. It's a, it's a really bad thing to do to say when you're running for president that the American people are pieces of shit, but they are. You have to understand I'm from Texas. It's like oil is for us and it's not even for my children or my grandchildren. This oil is for me now. I need to use it before it's gone. Um, so that, that's how Texans are. So uh, believe me, I know people are pieces of shit. And like, and no matter what people have said about me, like I said, my people told me that if I heard what the slander that, that people had said about me during my presidential campaign, I wouldn't want to protect the American people. Um, they did say that. But the reality is, the real reason I don't like the American people is because of how greedy they are. Like, the, the big-ass truck gets the girl. And if you drive a hybrid, she's not going to be attracted to you. Uh, at least in Texas. I mean, that's what it seems like sometimes. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hearing things. And if I'm hearing that this woman who's a station chief was the one that was really running the troll farm, that means it wouldn't be at Fort Meade. She'd be, she'd be at another location. Because you have to understand, these people flew in from all over the country to meet me. It was like, sta st a station chief is at a station. Like you'd be in Hawaii, or you'd be in San Antonio, or you'd be at Fort Meade, or you'd be in Utah, or I don't, I, I don't know where else the, the NSA has stations like field offices, which it's not a field office, it's like a giant building that you can't go into um, because it's it's like a military installation. Um, I don't know I don't know where all they are, but I feel like there are a lot of places. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I feel kind of silly for even saying this. I, I feel like I should take down my last post because 
I'm sending out these e these letters and I'm afraid they're going to check my YouTube and then the first thing they're going to see is me acting saying, oh yeah, I'm all over the internet um, being slandered by someone that wrote a bunch of bots to slander me. But there's no slander. Like how in the world could that happen if no one's ever heard of me? So I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to discredit myself by making this video, but um, oh well. NSA knows I'm not crazy. And they know that all they care about is their own survival over the American people's survival. And that's the real issue here, is you guys are not very American. You're pretty anti-American, actually. One more thing I wanted to mention. So, Satya Nadella, um, is he a national security threat? Yes. Uh, he is not loyal to the United States. He's an Indian. And India is not going to be our friend during World War III. And odd enough, Sundar Pichai, I don't think, is in the same situation as Satya Nadella. Um, so, um, if you want to talk about a serious, serious national security threat, even more than General Nakasone, Satya Nadella is probably the biggest national security threat we have in the United States. Um, also, Brock Pierce, uh, he ran for president. Why? Because he was trying to pr promote his Ponzi scheme. Like that's that's what he that's what he does that's what Brock does if you if you actually understand Tether his 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 uh, company it depends on um, borrowing money and also people investing money in this currency that's going to stay the same and it's like well why wouldn't you just buy dollars why wouldn't you just get dollars then and, and have paper it's like no I want to have Tether okay all I'm saying is um, Brock Pierce ran a Ponzi scheme publicly. Um, and he's still running a Ponzi scheme publicly, and he's running around um, running for president to promote his Ponzi scheme, and no one is smart enough to actually understand that Brock Pierce is running a Ponzi scheme because you guys don't understand cryptocurrency. And that's the thing, like, it's just, I mean, I think, like, generally, cryptocurrencies tend to be Ponzi schemes. Um, and so, uh, but but that one especially is, is, is a very big Ponzi scheme, and... Um, he is a very respected man. Brock Pierce is, he, he's a child star that became successful by running a giant Ponzi scheme. We should all respect him. No, we shouldn't. Because like, he is kind of what America is, which America tends to be a giant Ponzi scheme. At least our, our stock market, it, it, it's a pretty, it's, it, it sure, sure can turn into that pretty quick once you, once the valuations get that high. So um, yeah, go America.